हेलो नमस्ते सलाम वालेकुम शास्त्रीय काल वेलकम बैक टू अनदर सेशन विद योर वॉश ऑफ एट वारेवा डॉट कॉम टुडे वी गोइंग टू लर्न ए स्पेशल अडाई कॉल्ड मुरुंगा खीराई अडाई दैट मींस द लीव्स ऑफ ड्रम स्टिक्स इज यूज्ड इन मेकिंग दिस अडाई एंड दिस गिव्स अ वेरी नाइस अरोमा एंड फ्लेवर टू योर अडाई हियर इज द लीफ ऑफ द ड्रम स्टिक देयर इज लिटिल बिट ऑफ बिटरनेस इन दिस लीफ एंड यू नो वी मेक वैरायटी ऑफ दाल्स and even in sambar you can put this and you can just make a curry just using this leaves and also if you remember i have told you guys when you make ghee you put this in that uh, boiling uh, butter and that will give a very nice fantastic flavor to your ghee you know first let's learn how to make the batter for this for this tuwar dal chana dal add rice the red chilies and curry leaves we're going to add water just wash it once drain the water and then again we're going to use fresh water to soak this uh, ingredients the recipe is also very simple if you take 1 cup of rice you add 1 tablespoon of chana dal 1 tablespoon of tuwar dal but you can also increase or decrease the amount of dals depending on the consistency or the texture you want if you want little crispy you can increase the rice quantity if you want it little soft increase the dal quantities and in this we going to add some salt hing now add so much water that it should little be over the rice you know it should not be too much because we added the rice and the hing you don't want to lose the flavor later by draining the water you know after adding this water you need to soak it for at least 2 hours you know 4 hours of overnight is also possible and by the time this all this water will be absorbed if you have any water left over after you know soaking it for more than 2 3 hours that means you added too much water so don't add too much water because when you make this batter you want the batter to be slightly thicker not like a dosa batter little bit coarse and thicker now look at this batter this is coarse this is what we used to make fantastic adais now the batter of this adai is all ready in this add lot of this leaves okay just chop them and uh, you can add into this and just mix this wow hmm what a aroma this is good and also in this batter they add some coconut you know grated coconut and that will give an additional flavor to your adai just make sure you mix this properly you know after mixing this just put it on the non stick pan or whatever now we going to spread it with the hand just uh, make sure that uh, you dip your hands in the water like this and then spread this okay now you know i told you many times when i make adai that they always make odd number holes but i have never made one hole so today i'm going to just make one hole in the center and add oil okay after that put the lid on and let this cook on a medium flame for around 2 to 3 minutes and then we're going to cook it on the other side after cooking this uh, for around 2 to 3 minutes wow the other side it's got a very nice color and ha 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 and we're going to cook on this side also but this time we are not going to put the lid on because we want this to dry out if you put the lid on the nice crispy you know this golden texture will be gone and it will become soft and just we're going to cook this till it is nice and golden on the other side also but because we spread it with the hand the other side is not smooth and is not sticking to the pan so it will have a nice dots of golden color and not even color like you get on this side now look at this the nice golden crunch switch off the flame and serve it hot you can serve it with sambar coconut chutney even jaggery and nothing but even just with butter this will taste fantastic hmm Wow, dear friends, I hope you enjoy this adai, especially using the drumstick leaf. Lot of medicinal values in this, and nice flavor. But do not forget, Vareva is all about inspiring others to cook. So please post your recipes and cooking tips at vareva dot com, so others can benefit from your great cooking. Thank you. Hmm hmm hmm.